today's topic is candlestick patterns. Now you must be seeing candlestick patterns day in day out on charts and on various uh, websites and all that. Now how this candlestick pattern got invented? It was invented in Japan in the year 1600, like it's almost 500 years old. Now let's understand the basics of candlestick pattern. What does this green and uh, red candle look like and what does this thick body and the thin body show, shows about? So if you see, there are four prices in the market, open, high, low, close. There's an opening in the market, there's a closing, which is, and then there's a high and the low. So how do you depict that? When you have a thick body, the thick part, which is the candle part, opening and closing. When the closing is above opening, it's called a green candle. It's a bullish candle, right? And there is a low, and then there is a high, which is called as the shadow, upper shadow, lower shadow. And the same way, when closing is below opening it's a red candle that means it's a bearish candle that means market opened higher but closed lower that's why it's a red candle and there is a thick body which is the body part and the high and the low now this is where you can say lower shadow upper shadow and the body now there are various kinds of candlestick patterns and there's a detailed study on it in fact it can go on for hours and hours but i will show you some very very basic candlestick patterns which are there in, in, in the whole gamut of technical analysis in the whole Japanese candlestick. The, for your information, it's invented in Japan and that's why it's called Japanese candlestick. Now let's start with uh, this candlestick chart. It looks like, it depends on software. It, here you can see that there's a black and white because uh, of the software. The Some softwares will show you green and red, it, green and blue, whatever color you want to choose. Some software give you the choice to change the colors also. So basically, uh, every candle stands for that particular period. Let's say if you take a daily chart, then every candle is one day. If you take a weekly chart, then every candle is one week, Monday to Friday. And every if you take a monthly chart, then every candle is 1st to 31st, whichever is the month. And if you do intraday, 5 minute, 15 minute, the chart remains the same, the candlestick pattern remains the same. Now if you see here, there are different sizes. Like the bodies are big, the shadows are big, or the shadows are small. Sometimes the bodies are very small. Sometimes the bodies are invisible, right? So what does all this thing mean? So we will understand some basic candlestick patterns and maybe we can have another episode where we can have advanced candlestick patterns also, right? So let's start with first thing called as Doji. You might have heard these names. Some of the names which are sometimes very weird, but you might sound it, it might sound weird, but it's because of Japanese word, some of them. So Doji is a Japanese word. And it means that if you see this like a cross, like a plus sign, what does it mean? The opening and the closing are the same price. That's why there is no body. And then there is a low and a high. So it looks like a plus sign. Now by itself is a neutral candle. That means who's in control, the bulls or the bears? None of them. The bulls and bears are equal. They are not, in fact, we call it indecisive. They're not able to take a decision where to go. And that's why they are neutral. So that's doji. Now, when doji comes after a bullish trend like this, it's called doji star, which is bearish. Now, what? look at the understanding. Even if you don't understand the name of the pattern, that's okay. Understand that there's a green candle. That means the bulls are in control every time market goes up. But after that, there's a doji. That means what? The bulls are now indecisive. The bears are trying to come into the picture. That, that means it's a alert signal for bulls or if you if you are holding long position then you need to be alert with doji next day if it goes down you might have trouble so you might have to exit the position that's called doji the same way look at this chart after an uptrend there is a doji and then the downtrend starts i'll show you a couple of examples for each of the charts like an uptrend and a doji and a downtrend so bulls are getting exhausted right and there is another doji and a red candle and then we look at the doji after a downtrend, same thing, the bears are in control and then you see a doji, what does that mean? The bears are losing control or the bulls are gaining control or they are getting indecisive, that means the trend can change from here. It's not a given, remember technical analysis is a stop study of probabilities and not certainty, not every time it will turn up, but if it turns up, you have a confirmation, then you take the trade. So like this, if you see after a doji, the trend changes to up, maybe you can see one more doji here also. After a strong downtrend, there is a doji, one more doji, double doji, and then the trend goes towards upside. So that's the power of doji. Now, there are so many other candlestick patterns I'm so excited to teach you, but let's go one step at a time. One more doji, 
after a strong downtrend and then a confirmation then after a downtrend the trend goes sideways and then turns up so there is a trend change after a doji in this case as well right now look at bullish harami now i know it sounds different in hindi but uh, it's a japanese language uh, and hara in jap in japanese harami means pregnant if you see this there's a downtrend now there's a red candle now after a downtrend we expect the market to go lower but it opens within so it's like a small baby within it and that's a like a halt in the downtrend and that's why it's called bullish harami and it can change the trend from a down to an up so let's see an example after a downtrend there is a baby inside the red candle there is a baby inside the red candle and the trend changes right so it's all comes by practice i know i'm maybe going fast but you can study a lot about candlestick patterns through a book i'll tell you the book also and through some of my videos and some of other videos you can google up you can do wikipedia and learn about candlestick pattern the more you see the charts the more your eye brain coordination works and the more you can spot those dojis and haramis and those other patterns which we are learning right so that's a bullish harami that's another bullish harami as well as a doji see this is a small doji as well as a bullish harami which changes the trend to up right so then we have every pattern will have a reverse pattern so there is a bullish harami then there is a bearish harami so after an uptrend you will see that there is like a small baby inside this the uptrend got halted it's not going any more further and that's why it's called bearish and we need a confirmation you see a bearish harami after a strong bullish candle trend changes halt and you can take a short trade or you can exit your long trades like a bearish harami here also one more here also so this is all about practice take one pattern go to the charts and find out 5 6 7 10 at least examples of each pattern so that your eye gets tuned to it and then start studying them start back testing what we call it right then we look at the green the big candles those were the small bodies you have the doji small body you have the haramis as a small body now look at the big bodies which is like a big green candle what does this mean simple bullish throughout the day who's in control the bulls are in control right and you can see that lot of them throughout this days these are the trends when you really make money these are the days when you real your portfolio goes up these are the trades days when you have to take the trade right and this comes specially if it comes after a downtrend that shows a reversal of the trend now bulls are in charge right after a downtrend bulls are in charge bull uptrend and then there is a black big blacks also like we have big greens and big reds or you have big blacks and big whites so you can see the big reds now it's red it's it's a long body long body bears are in control selling pressure supply right you can see them all of them when the markets are down you'll see big blacks coming again and again right now we have an interesting pattern called bullish engulfing pattern this pattern is like after a downtrend you see small patterns the red candle is only small right that means the bears are already losing control and then when the morning market goes down and then goes throughout the day it engulfs the previous bears it's like a reverse harami right in the harami there was a bull and a small candle and here there is a small candle first and the, the big candle later that's why it's engulfing now this is a clear cut sign by the bulls that we have taken over we are in charge now and the trend is up right so let's see some examples of bullish uh, engulfing pattern after a downtrend remember if it's a bullish pattern it has to come after a downtrend if it's a bearish pattern it has to come after an uptrend right so this is bullish engulfing pattern and you can see some examples here here and they change the trend towards upwards like every pattern will have a reverse pattern a one more bullish engulfing your job after watching this video is to go and practice it if you see if you like something and if you understand something put that in the comment section i'll check out and then we have bearish engulfing same opposite of bullish engulfing and you can see a long body who's taking over the bears are taking over after which trend the bulls right the trend is changing simply by looking at candlestick even if you do, if you forget the name like engulfing and harami and dojis and all you just understand green or red big or small who's gaining control who's losing control right that's simple it is so now bears are taking control here and that's where bearish engulfing and that leads to a strong downtrend bearish engulfing after an uptrend that's that's how it should appear right so this are some of the candlestick patterns which you need to keep practicing of course and there are lot many patterns the real work done on candlestick is a person called steve nisson 
right? He is the guy who wrote a couple of books on candlesticks, converted all Japanese material into English. You should read this book called Japanese Candlestick by Steve Nisson. Uh, and make sure you read all the patterns, all understand all the patterns and start practicing. If you really go deep into it, you'll understand a lot about the market. Simply by looking at the patterns, you will, uh, you will get to know who's in control and it will help you. It will amp up your trading skills and analysis skills. So I hope you enjoyed this show. Make sure you like, comment and share this channel and make sure you uh, put some comments and what did you learn from this pattern and what would you like to learn in the next few episodes. Till then, good luck.